<clears throat> it's Sunday the 4th of August uh, 2019 my name is Andrew Michael Hopgood uh, I live in the UK I am a born again Christian and I am just sharing a, some thoughts and contending for the, the simplicity and the Lord Jesus Christ the gospel and his holy word and the truth of God and how how the world is um, fulfilling prophecy, mocking mocking Jesus Christ, the Holy Lord, uh, scoffers, and the sponsoring of the media voice and the generating of public opinion, um, and just catching. This is really contending for against these uh, just what I caught on half an hour of news on a Sunday morning and uh, brought me to uh, contend for the truth. Uh, one of the main gripes and contentions I had was uh, about the news of a comic making the Lord Jesus Christ a superhero and uh, I can't remember if um, the first publisher but I think it was taken over by DC Comics, but um, that would need to be researched. I only caught a brief story in a debate on a morning television program. I think it was Sunday News Live, BBC, and um, someone had come up with a bright idea. Now, where this, uh, where the idea come from, and and the, the, from the devil, but behind it, but I don't know who who put forward the, the creative idea to turn Jesus Christ into a superhero and I just thought how ridiculous you know is, are these people that stupid um, you know is that just by unbelief and ignorance or is that by somebody who, who deliberately knows what they're doing to to be contentious to be a bone of contention so I'm, I'm just going to contend for the truth and so I, I'm going to title this um, this outreach, this um, this talk, uh, Jesus Christ Superhero, first and last edition. And I want to make some serious points. Firstly, God is holy, and He will not submit His holiness. It, 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 he won't be mocked. And God is judged. The whole world is under condemnation and uh, God is mercifully stretched out anybody who rejects that is going to spend eternity regretting their actions every thought word and deed forever and they're going to realize what they've missed out on in this life life's a probation to know to know God and he he died he loved everybody and this this rhetoric um hate crime uh you know in quotation marks hate crime is a hate crime um, I, I saw a clip on the news about the, the Texas gun massacre and the the quick stories. It's a hate crime. It, uh, um, well, I, I thought to myself, well, it's not a love crime, is it? It's not a, any any atrocious act against another human human being. It's not exactly a love crime or an amenable crime. And but but it's categorised as a hate crime, and that generates the public mindset and rhetoric, this um, Hegelian dialectic, this dialect and creating this uh, division and the sponsoring of all these um, massacres followed by the story, oh, bang guns, bang guns. And these these um, events happen one after the other and it's anybody's real discernment or guess whether these are fruits coming, coming to fruition through sin and unbelief or whether these are sponsored and given a helping hand and promoted to orchestrate it to happen it, it makes you wonder it makes you question and this um, stupid story of um, Jesus Christ the superhero and the outcry uh, and I thought well this can be remedied with uh, the simple truth the Bible like the Word of God's cast aside and ignored what it teaches about the gospel and Jesus Christ. So it's a, an open rebellion, a blasphemy, and a, a mock against the Lord, and 
against the truth and against the simplicity and uh, integrity of the gospel and, and the holy word. Now, first of all, Jesus Christ is God. He's the son of God. He's the second member of the Godhead and he's the creator. So that's the end of all superheroes, isn't it? Because firstly, he creates all superheroes. So that's the end of that joke. So you can cancel that comic out if you're sincere and honest about who Jesus Christ is. He's not this um, superhero character that can, you know, be... Um, a robin to the other superheroes he is god he's holy and he he's not going to roll over for stupid vain um idols in in a, in a comic book it, it completely uh dismisses the word of god and 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 all the good things that 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 we've been provided for in life it's a it's an open rebellion against against the saviour and it's a it's just another full a full-on front to get this um these devices these um the devil's intentions out into the uh into the human race this uh rebellion this wildness to be exploited and marketed and if you you consider trump cards if you if, if you put jesus christ as a on an idol as a as a playing card as a game of trumps where you compare all the attributes and the highest attribute that's chosen trumps the others and wins. Well, firstly, first he's infinite, he's omnipotent, and he's all-powerful and almighty, so he trumps every single stupid, vain, tight-wearing superhero, and he, these people ought to, um, you know, really consider that before they... <laughs> turn the almighty god into a belittle him into a superhero so they're either stupid or they're completely deceived um probably both and so that was one one story that really um you know i, I felt strong enough and you know angry enough to contend for um and, and, and a few other stories I caught. There was a succession of these stories, one after the other. Um, children being thrown out the window, the increase in knife crime and cancer rates, all pumped into this one morning show. Religion, faith, religion in schools, and should it, should it, shouldn't it be, shouldn't it be? And then, then the belittling again of Christianity. It's all followed by this. Uh, it's a joke. Oh, you know, religion mocking God. It's all a joke. Keep to keep people away. To you can see this hidden agenda behind who, the evil powers, the satanic powers, trying to belittle the gospel to keep people away from the truth and dominate the mainstream media, dominate all the, um, shape the public opinion, shape the ignorant, shape the people that have been led into the slaughterhouse. Uh, Netflix, uh, phone contracts, all these packages I noticed, that was another debate that come up uh, about Netflix. and how that drives a wedge into the family unit. All these stories, all these politicians, they all support the same end. It's all, they don't speak out against what they should be speaking out against. They're just arguing against the things they create to argue about. So enough, the truth doesn't get done and the wildness continues. And you're gonna, the fruits are gonna get wilder and wilder. But you could, you could say in a biblical, prophetical sense the world is ripe for judgment but it's also ripe for salvation uh, today is a today of our probation salvations today and your life's one day it's what you get one life and today the Lord is outstretched forgivingly and mercifully to forgive sins because we're, uh, the whole world is sinful and gone wild and it and it's it's apparent for all these media stories and it's getting fast and furious it's it's an ongoing flow of distracting stories of pumping in this um rebellion and wildness and then on the other hand it all steps back and allows it to ferment and and go ripe and it's going to be more and more exploited and i i just pray that it's a uh, doused out that it, that the word can have free course and that people will start to wake up and start to seek the living God and repent of their sins. That's all the Lord taught, repent and believe.
it's not nothing to do with Christianity and, and organised religion, all these interfaith movements, all all in bed with these people, all in bed with the state religious um uh soapy water, it's all the lukewarm believers or their wolves in sheep's clothing selling a false gospel and and watering it down with this interfaith, you know, let's all tolerate let's all be liberal and tolerate. And then round round the world goes brazenly wild and you hear children being thrown out of the Tate Gallery, people's houses being broken into randomly, people being stabbed in their homes, people being stabbed in the street. And you hear it not only in big cities, you're hear, starting to hear it in the outskirts, the, the little cathedral towns and the local towns. And it's spreading wild like a fire. And then it's going to reach to uh, into suburban areas, little quiet communities, and you're going to get these crimes. And it makes you wonder, are these people being planted into the country to generate this? So you've got one hand sponsoring it and the other, the, 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 the authorities stepping back and winking at it, allowing it to happen, to come up with the tight security measures. And then coincidentally, the next st story was the Snoopers Charter. Oh, should it be? Shouldn't it be? And then it was blocked in Parliament, you know, thank God. But the truth is they're doing it anyway. They just want it, the public to accept what they're already doing. And, that, and that's what they don't tell you. And when you research, you can see the evidence. You can see this um, age-old Heligian dialect being played out. The, the thesis, the antithesis, and then the synthesis, you know, to create the problem. And you do it without hands. You get you, you you either condition people to do it themselves, and then you fan it. You you give it a little helping hand, and you step back and step in with a remedy. It's it's a, it's an on it's a bla a brazen pattern. Once once you see the machinations in play, and there's only one power behind that, and that's Satan. That's the devil, and we and it just seems to be snowballing towards that inevitability. So I wanted to close, I'm going to close there with just that, um, those few points, what I've caught in a, in a half hour TV programme, the division of the family, the, the open rebellion against God and Christ in the name of Christianity, and the liberalism of Christianity given helping hand to the, the reputation of the simplicity of the, Lord, the blessed Lord, Holy Lord Jesus Christ, that these people do not realise what they're doing. They do not realise what they're missing and what they've, they, what through their unbelief, they do not know the Lord. They have not been saved. They've not been purchased. They've not been born again. And so the world continues on and nothing's going to change. It's going to get worse. So I'm hoping if anybody, by the grace of the Lord, if anybody is caught this um, talk and they've not had the opportunity to consider and fear God and turn from this world looking for hope, looking for the truth, looking for that that answer to life. I I invite you to seek the seek the, the Lord God, you know, go to the foot of the cross, believe and seek him with all your heart. And he will he's faithful. The the word of God is faithful and that can only be known personally. You can't can't be intellectually taught it, it needs to be believed and it's that simple and i just want to wish any brother and sister um pray pray that they are blessed and I pray that they are looking up and uh remembering the lord and uh anyone seeking fellowship i pray that this has been a blessing and you are blessed pray anyone that's down that this has uh um been a been an uplift and I pray anyone who's lost or looking for hope that this will point them to the living God and the Lord Jesus Christ. And they will see from the fruits of the world what, what is really going on. And they will be able to put the pieces together by the, by the help of God and by the truth and by the word of God. And uh, I'd just like to thank any pe people that uh, support me, pray for me, and to subscribe to uh, my website, uh, I pray and thank God and, and, I, and for his glory in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, Maranatha. Amen.